Hello YouTubers, my name is Reality, and today I'll be showing you how to set up PHP MyAdmin with your LightSail LAMP server. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is come to this website named puttygen.com. There will be a link in the description. This is just because we need to install putty and we also need puttygen as well. Now luckily this, this is all combined into one uh, download. So what we'll do is we'll scroll down to how to use puttygen and we'll hit the install the putty. And then from here we'll scroll down even further and we'll find our operating system that we're using. I am using Windows and I'm using 64-bit, so I'm going to download that. Okay, so once you have the installer downloaded, click on that. Hit next. Hit next. And hit install. And then hit yes. And I'm not going to view the readme, I'm just going to hit finish. And that should have installed Putty and PuttyGen onto our computer. Okay, so now that the software is installed, let's open up PuttyGen. To do that, we go into the bottom left corner into the search bar, we type in Putty, and we hit PuttyGen. Now what PuttyGen does is it allows us to turn our .pem file into a .ppk file, which we'll later use in Putty. Uh, if you don't know how to get your .pem file, there'll be a video popping in the top right corner of your screen right now. And in that video, we set up NetBeans with our light, LightSail LAMP server, and we grabbed our .pem file in that video. So to grab our .pem file here, uh, we're just going to hit load, and we're going to go to the file location, and you'll see it won't appear. So we're just going to have to change from putty private key files to all files, and it's right here. And then we're going to hit open. And as you'll see, you'll get the successful message. We'll hit OK. And we don't hit generate, we'll just hit save private key. And we'll hit yes. And then right here, what we're going to do is we actually need the name from that file. So I'm just going to hit rename. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to come down here, paste, and hit sa uh, save. And as you'll see, it will appear right here. And it'll be this little guy. So we're going to exit out putty gen and now we're going to open up putty. Do the same thing, type in the bottom left corner, hit putty. And here is where we're going to create the connection. Now we need to get our light sail static IP again. And we did that in the last video and I'll show you how to do it right here. We'll go and make sure to go onto light sail. Um, I'll come back to the home page. You hit the uh, instance that you want to grab and then you grab the static IP right here, copy, and then come over here and hit paste. Um, we're going to then go down to connection. We're going to hit data. We're going to type in bitnami because that's the user we're going to be using to connect with. We're going to come down to SSH. We're going to open it up with this little plus sign. We're going to hit off. And this is where we're going to grab our PPK file. So we just hit that and it should open up to a file. You can find uh, your PPK file. I have it right here. I'm going to hit open. And then we've got to go down to tunnels. I'm going to add um, a new SSH port forwarding. And to do that, we're going to hit 888 four times. I'm going to go to destination and do local host. And then colon and 80. And we'll just hit add and you'll see it comes up right here. And that's pretty much it for that. Now we just want to save it so then we don't have to do this every time. So we'll hit save. And as you can see, it will pop up right here. And then we'll hit open. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, to open it, we may have to just copy it into the host name up there. And then we'll save it then and hit open. There we go. And as you should see, uh, SSH client should pop up here. Um, just like how we had in the last video, but this time it's going to be using our terminal from Windows. Um, but we just need the connection, so we'll just leave this in the background. Okay, so we're going to go to the web browser, and we're to grab phpMyAdmin, we're just going to type in our local host, which is 127.0.0.1. We're going to do colon 8888. 
is 48. And then we're gonna do slash php my admin slash and hit enter. And as you can see, it'll pop up with this page here. To log in, we're gonna to have to use the root user. And so to do that, we'll type root like that. And we're gonna get that password we grabbed in the last video as well. So I strongly recommend you go watch that video as it shows you how to do some essential things in this video. And we'll click on this and we'll grab our password and we'll paste it in there and we'll hit go. And there you have it. We have our PHP MyAdmin connected to our MySQL databases in our LightSail server. And this will allow us to do some really cool features on our website in the next few videos. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like, comment. Um, and if you wanna see the rest of the series, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.